Hi friends, hello and happy Thursday. We are opening up the vlog on a Thursday, on a Thursday evening, friends. That is correct. Um, your row berries are back in full force. We have all kinds of deliciousness planned for this weekend. So figured we will bring you right along with us here. So um, tonight, tonight for dinner, we are having, we're going back to those chicken thighs that we had when Michelle was over. You guys were so sweet. You're like, we should see more Michelle and the other dogs too. So, um, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? People said that? Yeah, people said that. Oh, yep, that happened. Um, so yeah, we're going back to the chicken thighs because those were so delicious. So we're gonna smoke those. Um, they have been marinating in some seasoning and stuff for a little bit. Um, and then along with that, we are going to have some funeral potatoes. If you are not familiar with funeral potatoes, they are delicious. You have to like heat because, woo, they are hot. Because we make them hot. You because make, we make, but they're make meant to be hot anyway, oh. right? No, you can make them not hot. That's why they're called funeral potatoes. Because you'll die. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You won't die. No, seriously. They're so good. But don't they, honestly, d doesn't the original recipe call for um, jalapenos or chilies? Uh, just from Todd. And I'm pretty sure you can't put a claim out there like that. YouTube is not going to allow you to publish this video. Sorry, YouTube. And take two. <laughs> no. Um, so I take back what I was saying. Uh, Sean did find a recipe online, onion rings and things. I will link the actual recipe down below. We spice it up. We add jalapenos and things like that to make it extra spicy. That's right. Uh, Cause we like the spice. You guys know that, um, but it's really, really good. Love that. So we are gonna do the chicken thighs for dinner tonight along with the funeral potatoes and a salad. So. It's gonna be great. Welcome to the vlog, friend. All right, Mr. Roberry, what do we have here besides a cute dog? Oh, she's so cute. She does not come in the recipe. Okay. Well, we have the hash browns that we uh, oh, yeah. are second choice because you can't evidently get the other ones, the, nope. the Idaho ones. Yeah, we prefer the Idaho potatoes. Thick cut. The thick cut uh, hash browns, but those were not available because the weird random odds and ends of things are still not available in the grocery store. Super weird. So the frozen bag of potatoes, but then you third. thaw them out, right? Yeah. They are third. They are third. Um, and then we've got an eight ounce situation of sour cream. We've got our cream of chicken soup here with some cheese and topped off with French's crispy fried onions. And because it's a free country, <laughs> we can make it hot. <laughs> so we make it hot with these diced, Jalapenos. And we're gonna go. And smoke show. we're gonna do the smoke show because you know how we do. So yummy, so spicy. Ooh. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> okay, you just let me know when it's recording. It is recording, babe. You just gotta stay ready around here. Yeah. The pepperoni. Sour cream. A little dollop of daisy. Just a dollop will do ya. Uh, let's just do it all. Let's just do it all. I mean, why not? Question for ya, do you like the top opener? Or the side, is that what, is that what we're calling it? Um, I, you're, ta you're talking about this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got this from Pampered Chef. Love it. Fantastic. But I mean, and much safer. It's so much safer because you don't have sharp edges. So that's fun. Okay, and we mix. Ah, oh, we, we don't mix yet. Just kidding. A little salt. Bay. Salt bay. And then lots pepper. Of, lots of pepper. Lots of pepper. Boop. A little bit of... Smoke show. That shuffle. Get that Cupid, get that. Sorry friends, a little minor interruption, but we are back on here. So now we are crunching. So these are French's fried onions. 
and they are delicious. I think the recipe that we're going to link calls for, does it call for these or does it call for, yeah. okay. Because I've seen funeral potatoes call for cornflakes too, I think. Yeah. Um, but we like the French's fried onions. They're delicious. So we're going to crunch these up. We're going to mix this up and then we're going to put it in that casserole pan. It's a real technique here to crunch the onions. And now we mix. Those actually come in uh, jalapenos too, no? These? Oh, yeah. Weren't you supposed to get those at the store today? Was I? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> look how fluffy those potatoes look. They're fluffy. Yeah. This bowl is actually from Pampered Chef as well. I like these little thumb holes. <laughs> so it's nice and mixed completely. No dry potatoes. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. For what? You. <laughs> And these keep really well. Sean loves eating these leftover. I mean, I love eating them leftover. You don't. Sean, I was going to say, Sean would say otherwise. He says I don't do leftovers. You don't do leftovers. I do. So now we're going to make a nice even coating here. Now we're gonna top it with the French's fried onions. No crunchy onion left behind. I feel like we need more crunchy. Or like the jalapenos that you were <laughs> supposed to grab? Yeah, like those. That would have been perfect. Yeah. Then we cover in foil and then we are going to bake. This, you don't smoke, friends. We bake it in the oven. You could smoke it. I mean, you could smoke anything. Uh, at what temp, sir? 350 for 40 to 50 minutes. Perfect. Oh, look at how clean that is. Oh my gosh. Why did you use to clean that? I used counter clean, you guys. Look how good. Good that look. Oh, so Sean and I were just talking about my ringtone, which is the Cupid Shuffle, and then we got to talking about songs that just get you like jacked up and energized and excited, and uh, that's kind of like the Sensi anthem, I guess, so to speak. So if you are a Sensi consultant and you have yet to go to a Sensi event, um, someday when we can all gather again. <laughs> Um, I would highly encourage you to go to a Sensi event and you will more than likely hear the what I call Sensi anthem, which is Cupid Shuffle. And that is the reason I had that as my ringtone because I just love it and it just makes me feel so happy. So whenever I hear that song, I totally think of Sensi. So if you haven't heard it, definitely look up Cupid Shuffle. It's just such a happy song and I just, I just love it. And it's the Sensi anthem. So gotta love that. So leave in the comments down below if there is a song that gets you energized, gets you jacked up and motivated and happy. Um, Sean and I were talking about how like he would go to the to the racetrack with his Mustang um, and he would he would always be playing Limp Biscuit Rollin. Um, you know, whatever gets you energized and happy. Leave a comment down below on what song does that for you. I'd love to hear. All right, time to get the smoker going and get those chicken thighs on for dinner. While Sean's getting that set up, I thought we'd come over and check on my lilies. Look how happy they are, you guys. There's so many little sprouts. I am so excited. Still no actual flowers that have sprouted just yet, but I feel like any minute, any minute. But this makes me so happy. Yes, we will clean it before the next one. Yeah. 
dessa sessão. Let the magic begin. It is hot AF. See what these look like. Not quite there. Pretty close. Oh, you guys need smell a vision. Smell a tube. Smell a tube. <laughs> That's And now this goes back in uncovered for how long? Oh, I just saw it gets golden brown. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my goodness. And do you hear the sizzle? Oh yeah. Yep, for two people. Well, we don't eat it all in one sitting, thank you. Oh, that's you. right, because you like leftovers. Oh, yeah, we love leftovers. Yeah. yeah. By we, you mean me. Are they done? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry for messing up your frame there. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> sizzle, sizzle. And we have our finished product here. So we've got the chicken thighs, we've got our little Caesar salad and the funeral potatoes over here. It's gonna be delicious. Hey friends, good morning and happy Friday. We are kicking off this day with a nice walk with our girl before it gets too hot because whew, summer is here. <laughs> it's gonna be in the hundreds throughout the next couple days. So our walks are going to be early while it is cool. from our walk and getting ready to head out. Um, my car actually needs uh, an oil change, so we're gonna go to the dealership and drop off my car and then run a couple errands while we are out. Oh, hey, you from, you from around here? Look at her ticket. <laughs> All right, so we just dropped my car off and actually it's only gonna take about 45 minutes for them to change my oil, so that's really good. Normally it takes a lot longer. Usually we'll leave it for a few hours. Um, we were planning on just coming back at the end of the day today, but uh, we're just gonna run some errands. So now we're gonna hop into Home Depot because we may need a new refrigerator and a new dishwasher oh. in our near future. Yeah, we do. We do. We've been limping along our um, yeah. refrigerator and dishwasher. Yeah. It's like- All at the same time. All at the same time. That's just how it works, right? We've owned the house for, has it been 13 years, yeah. 13 years, um, and now everything is breaking. <laughs> so of course, right? So we're gonna um, hop into Home Depot and see what we might be looking at here. So, um, and then after that, we're gonna go over to Sparkles and maybe Adam's Meat Shop, so. Yep. They all look the same to me. <laughs> GD profile, that's what we have now is a profile. <laughs> so we're looking for GE. Okay. Well, hello there. 
see, I had to I had to change it up. He always knows exactly what I'm going to say, exactly what I'm going to say it. And if it seems hot in here, you're correct. It is hot in here. Our AC. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know how earlier we were saying that like everything breaks down at the same time. Yeah. Now, it, the AC works great, except between the hours of three and ten o'clock. Pacific Standard Time. So, <laughs> so the hottest part of the day. Yeah. Ugh, it's so hot. Um, anyways, we are putting together some dinner. And for dinner tonight, we are going to have hamburgers. So the one time we are making dinner inside, <laughs> not outside, we're bringing the heat inside. So it's great. Kind of so we're going to have hamburgers. <laughs> smash. Oh, smash. We're having smash burgers. Um, <laughs> And then um, I do some mushrooms on mine. Sean is not a fan of the mushrooms. No. And then we're going to do a little broccoli salad with some mac and cheese. So it'll be good, but it'll be even better when our AC will kick on. So I've got my mushrooms starting to cook up here. Delicious. How can you not like mushrooms? Because it's fungus. They're so good. Okay, well, you eat cheese, and cheese is mold. Yeah, but it's not fungus. Okay, which one would you like? Uh, well, you measured them out so they're all the same. Yeah. So we let it sit for a minute and then we smoosh it. Smash. Smash. Screaming hot pan, a lot of butter. Smash. You're good. I can smash them? You have to put your all into this. <laughs> smash your all most. Not your own though. And it's gonna get stuck to your smoosher. Oh. It's not gonna get here. Oh, look. Oh no, that's that. Oh, boy. oh that's and this is why he does the cooking. <laughs> I saved I'm it. We're so... good. Yeah, he saved it, but this is why I can't do the cooking. <laughs> because I ruin all the things. Mise and plus. Mise nope. and plus. Oh hey. Sean has fixed my burger. He's putting a little burger seasoning on it. It's nice and smushed and thin. I like my burgers thin. Ish. Thin and crusty. Thin and crusty. Zoe, are you hot, boo boo? <laughs> are you so hot? I'm sorry. All right, dropping burgers. Oh, dropping more boogers. So now we have Sean's burgers in here. Because uh, I like mine a little more well done. <laughs> I, I'm okay if they're a hockey puck, essentially. Um, so, this is one. And this is different kind of. And that's how it's done. Dang. We just flipped my burger. Look at how delicious that looks. Mm -hmm. Looking good over here. Now he's adding his cheese to get it all melty. They go quick. They go quick. And then he's going to do an egg on his as well. I pass on the egg and do my mushrooms. So we pulled my burger, but Sean's is turning into a big old melty goodness. <laughs> mm hmm. Voila. Action. Okay, so this is our finished product here. So Sean's got his burger and the egg, and then we've got our broccoli salad here. Broccoli salad, and I've got my little mushroom burger. Uh, the mac and cheese is just your traditional blue box blues, but it's in a bowl. So this is what we're working with tonight, and man, is it hot in here. Just wave at it before you hit record. Yes, I do. Hi, friends. <laughs> Dinner was amazing. Would you agree? Oh, yeah really really good it was really good um it is currently 83 degrees in here it's a little bit a little toasty sean did bring up a good point he was like hey at least it works in the middle of the night <laughs> so that way we're comfortable when we're sleeping so we just not just but we have finished dinner and now we're just gonna kind of chill we're getting ready to watch a movie i have no idea what we're watching 
scary. It's scary. Are you going to tell us? Invisible Man. Ooh, Invisible Man. <laughs> I know nothing about this, but um, it's going to be good. And if it's scary, I'm totally going to be down. I love scary movies. That's why I scare you all the time. Yeah, because I like scary movies. So we're going to do that. And I don't know. We'll see if we pick up the camera again tonight or maybe again first thing tomorrow morning. Get but some cooling packs going on our necks. It is so hot in here. Yeah. It's crazy. What are you just well, that's what you <laughs> Oh do. my gosh. Okay. So we watched the movie and really good. Yeah. Really good. Phenomenal movie. Uh, we were talking earlier. I love a good scary movie, but more so the suspenseful <laughs> movies. And the this movie, Invisible Man, was so good. And seriously, like on the edge of your seat the entire time. Mm -hmm. What she mm -hmm. said. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, so good. I think that's the fastest we've ever got through a two-hour movie. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> well, well, no, normally movie... you have to take a break every Me? so long. Yeah. You. <laughs> okay, how long did it take us to go through Birds of Prey? Like three days? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Things are happening. <laughs> no, but seriously, oh, this was, it was such a good movie. Seriously, if you like really suspenseful movies... You gotta give this one a try. Yeah. Uh, really good. I know that um, the <laughs> Invisible Man. This was a remake, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because this was <clears throat> the original. I don't know if it was the original original, but it was from a few years ago. Anyways, this was so good. <laughs> Loved it so much. If you like suspenseful movies, Invisible Man. Check this one out. Check it out. Good morning and happy Saturday. So we are heading out. Um, we stopped at the grocery store, got stuff for dinner for tonight, which is going to be really good. It's uh, We are going to show you the taco way. Um, really, really yummy. So you will get a chance to check that out. Um, but currently, so tomorrow is actually Father's Day. And um, for those of you who might be newer to our channel, um, my dad actually passed away in 2018. So we are going to go to the cemetery now. Um, it's a little bit of a hike, but we're going to go. We grabbed some flowers, so we're going to go see him, and then we will head back home. So I uh, just wanted to kick off the day today. So hello and happy Saturday.
just finished up seeing my dad, obviously, um, and I was happy to be able to share that with you. That cemetery is beautiful. It's it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad that he's there, um, and it's, I mean, it's a great, I don't know what to say, it's a great place to spend time, but it's it makes it, it's a very relaxing kind of atmosphere. Is that what, it, am I saying yeah, that right? Yeah, peaceful. And peaceful. Put it in perspective of what the veterans did for this country. Yeah, it's it's really amazing so really happy and grateful that my dad is there um and it felt good to be able to go and see him um for father's day it's it's hard you know it's it's always it's always hard i don't think it's gonna get any easier i think you just kind of learn to cope i think but being able to come to a place like this to be able to see him um is definitely nice so um happy we got to do that so thanks babe yeah, absolutely um now we are on our way back home. Breakfast burritos. No, we're not gonna do breakfast burritos. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you get into a routine, right? Um, no, we, we actually grabbed breakfast on the way out, so so we're good there. But yeah, if um, I may have a point of personal privilege, if you're ever in the Sacramento area, do not go to McDonald's <laughs> at Sunrise and White Rock. Steer clear. He's so mad. <laughs> He's so mad. They get his order wrong every single time every single time and it's it's all he wants is just an extra hash brown but they don't ever give it to him <laughs> he's like can i just have an extra hash brown please um and then this time <laughs> yeah, then the, power. the power went out but they were still able to cook our food um but they weren't able to take cards so she was like uh we'll just call it good with 15 dollars <laughs> we're like okay <laughs> so she was only accepting cash and she just was like uh we'll just call it 15. but they saw power on inside there it, yeah it was it was a little weird <laughs> eat my warning stay away stay away so um anyway so we grabbed breakfast uh now we're on our way home um we have a cooler so we've got all of the fixins for dinner but um it's good. It's going to be really good. I can't wait to share that deliciousness with you guys. So, uh, so yeah, we'll check back in. Just All right. So we had a little bit of a snafu with my memory card situation. Um, as you saw, we came home, picked up Zoe, and then we turned around, went back up to the store to grab some propane. And then it was while I was recording <laughs> during that little jaunt <laughs> Um, that the camera was like, yeah, no, this isn't gonna work anymore. And that was gonna be the absolute best. It was clip gonna be ever. so good. It was, it was so, so cute. It was magic. We, it made, was magic. we made magic. And <laughs> unfortunately, we lost it. So luckily, we didn't lose everything from today and yesterday and the day before. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna See how good of a forensic guy I am if I can get it. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Um, but I'm really glad that we didn't lose all of that footage because I was like, oh, I don't want to lose any of that stuff. But anyways, we are back home. Um, Sean is going to season up, Sean and myself um, are going to season up the skirt steaks um, for our taco way situation tonight. I don't remember was, were we talking about that on the clip that got deleted? I think so. Um, Talk Away calls for, um, instead of ground beef, you do, this time we're doing skirt stick. Did, didn't we do skirt stick last uh, time? I think we did, uh, I think in New York. Okay, before. well. It's whatever your favorite it, cut is. Yeah, whatever your favorite cut is, it's a it's a steak taco, essentially, but. Like a little carne asada. Yeah, so um, we're gonna season this up. He's actually, before we had cooked the steaks, on the skillet and this time we're actually going to barbecue them so hence the propane hence the propane why we needed to run back up to the store for propane so i'm going to turn you around and let's see how it's done okay so here's our skirt steak situation delightful s p salt and pepper and then oh this is such good seasoning you guys um absolutely love this this is the green taco seasoning why does this it's because i'm holding it too close you didn't wave at it first. Yeah, that's why. Uh, and then we've got the smoke show, the smoke show peppers here. So let's see how it's done. Yummy. A little bit of our fancy olive oil here. Salt bay. It's me. A 
Lots of pepper. And it's got to be that coarse grind. Yeah, we like the coarse. And the coarse salt, too. Yeah. Do you know? Nah. Smoke show? Spicy? It's not that spicy. And the delicious green taco seasoning. Oh, it's so good, you guys, on everything. Chicken, steak, yeah, that pork. Chicken, that chicken you made was really good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe. Doing it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke show. Beautiful. Pink. Look at how good that looks. Oh man. Hey, my face is up here. All right, friends. So for today's episode of what was the store out of today? Today's episode is cilantro lime rice. Yes. We really like to have cilantro lime rice along with our taco way. Um, and I ran up to the store because we didn't have any. And so I went to grab some. None of the boxed cilantro lime rice was available. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look up how to make it. And so um, seems like it's a pretty easy process, but you need to have the basmati rice or some kind of long grain white rice for it. And um, they only had like a huge bag of it. And I was like, I don't wanna buy a huge bag of it for two cups. <laughs> so I just grabbed a pastoroni Mexican rice. So. That'll still be good, but man, I'm like, I'm craving that cilantro lime rice, so I'm kind of bummed out right now. So, thanks a lot. You would think, why? when are they gonna get caught up? When are they gonna get caught up? Why, it's been months now, right? Don't they get, don't they get regular shipments of things? Yep. Why, why? People still hoarding. I'm not, I don't understand, I don't understand. Okay, so what we've got, so we've got our meat here that has been kind of marinating in the seasoning here for a few hours. Um, and then we have some chilies. We have some avocados. We have some tomatillos. Some stewed tomatoes. An onion. I already talked about the avocados. Oh, so good. Uh, some Monterey Jack cheese. A knife. A knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. Uh, and then we've got some cilantro and garlic and some peppers of some sorts. What are what are these? Habanero. Habanero, which is the orange one, right? And serrano. Serrano. Delicious. Yum. <laughs> He's the actual worst. He is the, he does that stuff to me all the time where he, we have really sharp knives yeah. and they will cut your finger mm -hmm. right off. Mm -hmm. No questions asked. Well, you're such a loving and caring wife. If you didn't get scared, you wouldn't care. That's true. And at least I stopped recording. <laughs> I was like, ah, this guy. And for those of you that were concerned, like myself, no, he didn't actually cut himself. He just like. I thought I did, but it's. No, it, he knew he did. It didn't. felt like it. No, it did not. He just likes to mess with me. And it's because I actually will cut myself, I am not going to use this chef's knife. I use a little paring knife do my magic because I will actually cut my entire hand off. Yeah, and next time you have the opportunity to get an accident on camera, let's keep the thing rolling, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Of course. Two uh, we're blending this, right? We are. Okay, so I don't have to get all fancy and stuff. Nope. Okay. Decided to move the habaneros over to the red sauce. And it with the three serranos. Serrano. Serrano. Okay, three more to go. All right, so we have our delicious 
avocados. Season to taste. Lots of salt and pepper per use. A little bit of water just to help thin it out. And here we go. That looks so creamy. Yeah, I'll taste that. Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah, that's ooh, that's a little spicy. <laughs> oh, 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 I like that. Super thin steak, so they don't take very long at all. At all. Oh, yeah. Don't touch your eyeballs. No. Now this is for our red sauce. We've got tomatillos, uh, stewed tomatoes, garlic, some of their liquid, uh, salt, salt and pepper. pepper. And we'll see what it... Tight. Tight. I almost needed you to help me. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a spoon right there <laughs> that I'm happy to use for tasting. It's it's liquidy. It's supposed to be like that though. That's so good. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's good. So Sean felt like this was needing a little something, so we added some more... A couple more cloves of garlic and some cilantro. Yep. Just kind of thicken up, really brought it together. Yep. And that's the beauty of it, just keep adding and tasting and... Until it's what you like. Mm -hmm. And this is really good. And we had enough propane, we didn't need to go. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, lots of juice already. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yep. Oh wow. Oh yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. Yep. That's good. Look at that steak and how delicious it looks. I think even Zoe is <laughs> interested. Oh man, that looks so, so good. So we're starting out with just a little drop of oil here. Um, and Sean is doing the flour tortillas and I'm doing corn tortillas. These are just like street taco size. Um, so you just kind of rub it around here. Let that heat up. And then we'll add the cheese and the steak, and the cilantro, and onions, and a little bit of guacamole, and the red sauce. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. So here's my little corn one. This, what I actually have realized is that it's actually just like a quesadilla, because there's gonna be a little topper that we're gonna put on here, and flip it, but look how good that looks. Now we put their little toppers on, and I flipped them, so now we'll let the other side get nice and crispy, and we will be ready to go. All right, here's our finished product. This is Sean's plate. Look at how good they look. Like I said, they're little like, I guess they're more like quesadillas, but they're so good. I love them. And then here's mine, my little corn tortilla shells. So this is gonna be delicious. I will link the video for this recipe in the description box. So if you are interested in doing this, it's 
amazing you guys highly highly hi friends good morning and happy sunday we are starting off our day with a walk it's a little bit later than what we would have liked but it's okay we're getting it done before it gets too too hot it is already starting to warm up just a little bit so we're getting our walk done happy sunday just made it home from our walk and um, I wanted to tell you guys because so many of you have been like you gotta prank Sean back he gets you all the time so that little rubber snake that he pranked me with um, by sticking it into the washer whiffs tub I took it and I hid it in the eggs and we're gonna have breakfast burritos this morning so we'll see if it gets him but I'll try and I'll try to record his reaction it's so hard to get him so <laughs> we'll see. see you guys it didn't even work <laughs> It didn't even work. He did not get scared at all. Nice you, try. You are the hardest person to prank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he never gets scared. Like he just, he opened it like it was no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. It was, uh, it was a good try though. Yeah. It See, was. A for effort. Okay, my turn. Zoe. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo. I mean, this thing, I mean, it's super creepy, but. Oh, Sean. All right, friends, so we are getting ready to have our taco way quesadilla situation leftovers <laughs> for dinner tonight. Um, one thing that makes me so sad about guacamole, I love guacamole. I love avocado so much, but how they turn brown so super fast. Um, <clears throat> this one, actually, I, re I remember last time, I feel like even the next day, it, ha it didn't turn brown. The top part of um, the guacamole has kind of started to brown, but I can see underneath, um, it is still nice, bright green. So I'm just going to like skim off the top. So if you do do this recipe and you do have leftovers, um, don't completely toss out the guacamole, just skim that brown part off the top and then you should be good to go. So it'll be great. Um, Sean is actually mixing his up just a little bit tonight. Am I allowed to tell them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna ex nay on the guacamole <laughs> he really liked it he had it in his last night but um he's going to have the taco away but instead of the guacamole he's gonna substitute it for miracle whip yeah <laughs> so miracle whip and then the red sauce yeah, and I then see your comments out there yeah <laughs> so funny uh i don't do miracle whip on anything i'm a mayo girl but um anyways so we're getting ready to do that and then just kind of have a chill evening so see how, and honestly, like that browning is not as bad as what I have seen with uh, guacamole. Usually it will turn that shade within like an hour of having it be out in the air. But you can see underneath it's nice and bright green. So um, just skim off the top that, that browning and you can still enjoy it. It still tastes really, really good. Um, probably even if you add a little bit of lime to that, um, <clears throat> to this mixture, it'll probably keep for even longer. But 
I just wanted to share that. With All you. right, friends, we are back. <laughs> we are actually closing out the vlog. We had a really great weekend. Uh, we just finished up our Taco Away leftovers slash fancy steak quesadillas. Uh, Sean really, really liked the Miracle Whip substitute for the guacamole. So um, yeah, probably from now on we'll do that for him. But it was really, really good and it was a really nice weekend. So I'm glad that you guys were able to hang out with us. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Make sure if you like the vlogs, you do give this video a thumbs up. It that's lets the only us way know. We'll know. Yeah, that's the only way we'll know that you yeah. guys really like it. I mean, hey. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will check you out in the next vlog. Bye, guys.